This is a story of young children who were victims of trafficking with nowhere to go. They were sent to Kerala by their families, according to them, to study. What really happened though is that they were sold into bondage. They don't have proper food in their shelters and they now say they're victims of exploitation. The investigating agencies in Kerala are now trying to figure out how this racket went on. When this eight-year-old walked out of her house with her elder sister, she was convinced by her parents and a man they called Ustad that they were promised a good life and education in Kerala. What they did not know was that they along with another 579 children who would be transported illegally by train to Kozi Kod in Kerala to be child labourers. उस्ताद बोला कि चलो वहाँ बहुत अच्छा पढ़ाई होता है पाँच साल मेरा भाई गया था ना मेरा भाई भी बोला कुछ नहीं होता है वहाँ अच्छा पढ़ाई होता है सब चीज़ का पढ़ाई होता है वापस घर में जाना चाहते हैं क्यों वापस जाना चाहते हैं क्योंकि यहाँ बहुत डर लगता है These children traffic from Bihar and Jharkhand now have nowhere to go they want to go back home but they don't know that it was their parents who sold them off to reduce their burden. Mom, you gave me 1500 rupees to the Ustad. Did you only give me that your daughter gave me 1500 rupees or different? No, I gave them 3000 rupees. Some of the parents showed an indifferent attitude. They gave me 1500 rupees. 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 Uh, to my uh, surprise, uh, two three uh, parents they said that uh, we have uh, see we have uh, seven or eight kids in our home. At least one or two may, uh, let them get a good food at least for one time. This is not the first time that these children have been brought to Kerala. They study in the state, and when they go back home for a short break, they bring hundred more children with them. These little ones aged between 4 to 14 are still convinced that they will get a good life. Some of the orphanage uh, authorities were with us day for yesterday and they were uh, simply telling that every year they used to get uh, 50 plus new admissions. And these uh, new children come along with the old ones uh, so they do not have any proper documents. Only after coming here they make the pro documents. The fate of these children lies in the decision that the Child Welfare Committee will take and the state government whether to send them back to the state they have come from, that is Bihar or Jharkhand, or whether they should be sent to the madrasa they have come to study. But more importantly, what needs to be investigated is that whether there is a child trafficking case and why these children are being bought in hundreds from Bihar and Jharkhand to Kerala and whether they are being exploited. With Cameron Madhuroni Swami in Palakkad for Headlines Today.